Hi, this is Mary Laney here on Dolphin Island. Uh, this is a map from the University of South Florida showing a, uh, drifters that were put into the oil spill at each day as it uh, continues to gush and they're being tracked by satellites. So what you have here is all of the black areas are these little drifters. Um, and this is the uh, site of the spill right now. Okay, this is basically this morning on the 4th. Let's uh, move full. Oh, and once again, uh, all the arrows that you see show the direction of currents. As you can see, there's a, a current that moves around like this. You have a current that moves. Right now, it's moving offshore uh, from Dolphin Island and Mobile and that area. And you have the loop current, which starts right here, which basically grabs things and takes them, uh, the, turns into the Gulf Stream, takes them around the, uh, the Keys and up the uh, East Coast. So um, let's watch how this moves. As you can see, it's starting to elongate off to the east and also to the south and to the west as well. And the loop current is starting to also uh, really get kicked up here. Uh, so you can see we're elongating. The drifters are showing up off to the east quite a bit. Uh, Cape Sandblast, um, Panama City, uh, Destin area, uh, Gulf Shores, Dolphin Island, Mobile Bay, and uh, South Louisiana here, as you can see, is starting to loop around there. Also starting to try to go up in this direction, watching how the arrows here are starting to move. But this is a really scary spot here because this is starting to really drip down and, and wants to get caught up in the loop current. So let's go a little further forward and see how that goes. So you can see it's really, the arrows are just pulling it right on down and this, in this area here. And the same happening here is pushing it this way. Uh, Cape Sandblast uh, looks like it's definitely in the line of sight at some point. Um, also, the arrows are pushing it around uh, the, the boot of uh, New, uh, the New Orleans Peninsula area here. So, well, uh, it's not looking not looking good for the whole Gulf and for the East Coast really. Uh, this map will take us through. Uh, the eighth, and that's as far as it goes now. As you can see, getting down to this, and all these arrows are really pushing it, and really converging, and really starting to push it down towards the loop current. So once that happens, uh, well, all bets are off. Uh, once again, you can see what's happening here to the east. Uh, there's some uh, stuff happening here. Fortunately, the currents at the moment along this area are keeping it caught on a shear pattern, and in reality, potentially moving it past the Alabama coast, and then on into the uh, and then catching up in this area here and going right into the Florida coast where Destin and Panama City are. Um, I'm not saying our area here is uh, immune from this. I'm, I'm sure we'll get hit by it sooner or later. A lot of preparations have been going on which you can check uh, AL.com uh, for some updates on that. Uh, we'll see uh, getting around here and if these currents start changing well, this could even potentially come up in these and get pulled down here and then pulled over into here as well so it really could really could get caught up in this whole thing and, and then get caught up in this and go south so that's a, a real big concern i would hope for everybody and that hope that people on the east coast are getting prepared for this um in florida because it looks like it's going to come your way um, it is not just a gulf coast deal keep saying your prayers and um keep putting the pressure on bp to spend every dime they have to get this thing fixed and cleaned up and where it never happens again thank you